Hello you all happy people, hope you guys are doing great. Uh, thank you very much for all the support. Right, uh, today I'm going to take you through a quite a long journey. So this is the uh, uh, most beloved uh, uh, cuisine. Um, most of people like it and I personally love it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the whole uh, essentials, uh, soup, starter and main course of Chinese cuisine. So I really love authentic Chinese cuisine. So what I'm trying to do today is I'm just going to do authentic. I'm not going to add any other extra ingredients or make it a bit of fusion or something. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys uh, how does a Chinese authentic restaurant work on a daily basis. All right. Before I start today's uh, video, I just want to show you guys uh, a new toys which I got. The utensils that we use in a master chef. So I bought a casserole and then a wok. So I'm going to use it today. They're really nice. Hope uh, the cuisine gonna turn really well as well. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, the first and the foremost, uh, we're going to start with the uh, the main essential uh, for Chinese cuisine is uh, uh, chili oil. So what I'm going to show you how to make aromatic chili oil and this can be used in any recipes uh, in a different cooking as well. It's going to be amazing. So, what I've got is uh, I've got some uh, red chilies, and then I've got some uh, dry spices, which I'm going to use. So, cardamom, cloves, some peppers, and some bay leaves, and I've got cinnamon, and then I've got uh, ginger garlic. Okay. start with the cooking process. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use some nice sunflower oil. That's it and then we're gonna wait until the oil gets heated. Can add a bit more. So now that uh, oil is boiling, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, simmer the stove a bit and then I'm, out, I'm going to add the spices. So what you guys need to do is you need to make sure the whole spices and the chilies and the garlic have give enough time so that the oil get uh, infused with everything. Okay. There you go. A 
wish you can feel the aroma it's so nice already so that should be it guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rest it for at least like five to ten minutes uh, because we're not gonna burn them so everything the oil is so hot so it will get all the spices and the chilies and the garlic and the ginger get infused so that should be it all right so I'm gonna show you later once I'm gonna rest the oil and wait until the oil gets uh, cooled down and then I'm gonna strain the oil and then I'm gonna show you the change of color of the oil all right that's it all right <laughs> my apologies there's one more spring onions I forgot to uh, add it onto that so I switched on the uh, oil now again the stove and then I'm just gonna add it okay We're just gonna give it a couple of minutes and uh, it should be fine guys. So the oil will also get infused with the spring onion taste. I hope you guys can smell it. It's so amazing. Alright. Right back. Stay tuned. Thank you. Alright guys, there you go, I strained everything and that is the final product and this one I'm going to use in the next uh, recipes in, in today's videos, okay? Okay, uh, what we're going to do next is uh, I'm going to do a soup, it's a chicken clear soup and uh, I've got all my ingredients here and I'm going to walk you through. And it's going to be gain, authentic, no hectic stuff, nothing, simple and easy, authentic Chinese chicken soup. Okay, stay tuned. Alright guys, there you go, my ingredients, and I've got my chicken broth. I'm going to start cooking. Just wait until uh, you get some boiling there, and then uh, I'm gonna add my ingredients.
I'm adding a bit of pepper there, a tiny bit of salt. Got some uh, thinly sliced uh, ginger and carrots built in. Adding a uh, spring onions there. Just wait until uh, you see the boiling there. So now it's uh, nicely boiling there, so I'm going to add some pop choy and um, probably a couple of more minutes and then we should be good and then it's ready to serve. So as you can see, uh, the chicken pieces are, are big chunks, okay? I wanted to keep it as it, so usually in authentic Chinese restaurant you get the uh, big chunks and I'm not going to add any more things and I'm going to show you once I serve it in the bowl. Okay, stay tuned guys. All right, uh, now that uh, chicken clear soup is ready, so I hope it's uh, turned out very good. So what I need to do is I need a critic, so I'm going to call in my daughter's feature. Come on in. There you go. And I want you to taste it and tell us how you feel. Okay. This tastes so good. I love it. It's really nice. All right. Well, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. All right, guys. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some uh, crispy fried prawns. Okay? So, this also I'm going to make it authentic the way it's supposed to be as a Chinese uh, cuisine. And then, um, hope you guys like it. Stay tuned. Okay?
I'm gonna deep fry the prawns first and then I'm gonna strain them and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the crispy prawns. They're gonna cook very fast guys so it's not gonna take we just need to wait until this uh, it gets uh, the skin gets crispy because uh, we have some corn flour in there so that should be it. So as you can see, the oil is uh, very clear, yeah? so I think we are good, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to switch off and then I'm going to strain them. And that's how they look. Then I'm going to make the onions and the spring onions and chilies. I'm going to finally chop and then I will be back. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we're gonna start uh, making the uh, crispy prawn. I'm just gonna add a bit of oil. And I'm gonna start with the uh, chilies, ginger and uh, garlic.
around a little red pepper. Toss in the front. Add a bit of salt. Just a bit of uh, dark soy sauce. Spring onions, and that's it. It should be done. There you go. Nice and crispy, fried prawns, ready to serve. Yes. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do uh, chicken fried rice. Authentic again. I know I keep stressing authentic because I'm going to stick how the Chinese uh, chefs are going to prepare on a daily basis in any Chinese restaurant. Okay? I'm going to stick to authentic Chinese chicken fried rice. Okay? Stay tuned guys. Thank you.
this uh, first thing I've got some oil so I'm just gonna spread it across I want to just uh, saute the chicken first okay I'm gonna do is saute the chicken and then I'm gonna keep it aside because uh, I just want to saute them first um, just make it a bit uh, brownish and then we should be good and then we can go ahead with the chicken fried rice. So usually uh, authentic Chinese restaurants uh, what they do is they use already sauteed chicken or uh, they just do like a quick fry and then strain it and then they just proceed with the cooking. few more minutes and uh, we should be good. Okay, and I see that uh, the moisture is gone from the chicken pieces. Uh, they are looking nice. They are not uh, completely brown, but uh, I think that uh, should be fine. It's almost done. I don't want to overcook and make it uh, stringy or very hard. Okay, so I'm going to just do that. Straight in to the egg. Go ahead, uh, put the wedges in. As I mentioned, I'm going to use my chili oil. Very colorful, very vibrant, and it's Smelling very yummy, guys. So, <coughs> Grind in the chicken. Hmm? I think we are good for the, the rice.
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a top shelf. And uh, right at the end, we're gonna add the spring onions. Okay. Adding a bit of oyster sauce. Add a bit of uh, soy sauce. Salt as for the taste. Can add a bit of pepper. Adding a bit of chili powder. I'm not gonna add MSG guys. I know it's authentic but uh, I really don't like MSG. Apparently people say it's not recommended but I know I'm not gonna add MSG. Uh, a touch of uh, chili oil. And that's it. Spring onions. We should be good. What I'm going to do is uh, a simple egg soft noodles. Again, I'm going to stress it authentic egg soft noodles. So, I've already started boiling the water, and then I've got some uh, nice uh, Chinese noodles there, and I'm going to boil them and strain them, and then I'm going to uh, catch you soon with the preparation. Okay, stay tuned, guys.